All right, Connor, in this second video about how you can get better, we're gonna focus specifically on how you load your hands to get into a good launch position. All right, I'm gonna begin with Chase Utley here. All major league hitters, doesn't matter who you are, you have to get to this position right here when your front foot lands. Okay, and what you're gonna notice here at this position is there's a slight inward turn with the shoulders. The lead arm is nice and relaxed and bent. The back elbow is cocked. The barrel of the bat is steep with the knob of the bat pointed towards the ground. If I pull up any other major league hitter, it doesn't matter who it is. Uh, Miguel Cabrera, another example. You're going to see the same thing when he gets into his launch position. See him here in his stance. It's a little bit different than Chase Utley's. But when he gets that front foot down, right there, you're going to see again, lead arms nice and relaxed and bent. Barrel of the bat is steep. Knob of the bat is pointed towards the ground. And the elbow is cocked. You'll see that slight inward turn with the shoulders as well. Uh, we'll pull up another hitter. Again, like I said, every guy that we pull up here, they're going to be doing the same thing. Alex Rodriguez. Get him into his launch position. When the front foot lands, right there. You're going to see that slight inward turn with the shoulders. The barrel of the bat steep. The knob of the bat's pointed towards the catcher. You can see that back elbow is cocked and loaded. And the lead arm is nice and bent and relaxed. Okay, so that's a good launch position. Now with that in mind, I want to show you what you look like at your launch position. Front foot's down, right there. And look at your back elbow. Look how it's kind of drifting down and it's not cocked and loaded. Look at where the barrel of your bat is. It's flat, and the knob is pointed towards us over here. And you don't really see that inward turn with the shoulders either. And so you're compromising power, and you're compromising consistency as a result of these flaws. So with that in mind, let's talk, and I'm going to show you one more angle of this. I'm going to pull up a catcher view real quick. Same thing here. Chase Utley's in his stance. When he takes his stride forward, he's going to load these hands up. And when the front foot gets down right there, you're going to see that back elbow is loaded. Notice how the lead arm is close to his body. That lead elbow is pointed towards the ground. The knob of the bat pointed towards the catcher. Steep bat. And what's really important here is look where the barrel of the bat is. Um, it's inside of his body. And that's important because the closer the barrel of the bat is to your center of gravity, the faster you're going to be able to rotate, the quicker you're going to be into the hitting zone. When the barrel of the bat's here, hitting zone's right here, it's going to be a little bit easier to get into the point of contact. Now, if we look over here on the left-hand side with you, get you into your stride, your front foot's down. Take a look at where the barrel of the bat is for you. Notice, if I draw that line, how the barrel of the bat gets away from your body. So that 30-ounce bat is further away from your center of gravity and your core, and it's going to make it more difficult for you to get into the hitting zone, which is right here, obviously. Okay, So it's going to take you a longer time. It's going to be more difficult for you to get there. Also notice here your, your front elbow, how it's pointed away, and it's further away from your body. As a result, the knob of the bat is pointed this way. You can see how your back elbow is drifting down and it's not really loaded. All right, so uh, recommendation. Notice how you start in a very similar stance position as Chase Utley. When he begins his negative move, nice and relaxed, he starts to bring the hands down a little bit. And when he works forward with his stride, when he walks away from his hands, this back elbow is going to load straight back this way, and the lead arm is going to get closer to his body. And so as he does that, you can see his shoulders turn slightly in towards home plate. Now if we look on the left-hand side, here's your negative move. You can see here where your hand started, and when you do your negative move, your hands get further away from your body. 
Okay, you see that? And then when you go to stride, your hands get even further away from your body. And you're actually kind of starting to bring your hands down into the hitting zone before you even get loaded, before that front foot even gets down. Again, watch Utley on his load. Pay attention to the, uh, the hands right there. Everything gets closer to the body. And watch you on the left-hand side. Everything kind of drifts away from the body. So let's try to work on that load. Um, one important point, why this is so important, later on in the swing, by getting this inward turn with the shoulders and keeping these hands close to his body, later on in the swing, when Utley gets to connection, notice how he's able to keep this front side shoulder closed longer as a result of having that inward turn. So while his hips fire, the shoulder stays on the ball and that creates coil in the core, which is gonna create more power when you get to contact because that core opens up later. It's also important because when you open that core up later, it allows you to get your hands extended. Now in contrast with you at the same position, you do a great job firing the hips, they get open, but look at how the shoulders open with. And so there's really no coil here in the upper half. Okay, so you're losing and compromising a lot of power in your upper half when you make contact.